theyeti.com. That's the Yeti, Y-E-T-E-E.com. I know once I'm finished hosting, they're going to be having a little bit of a run on XLs because I'm going to be buying my shirts shortly after this. With that, we are going to be going to Cybergenic Ranger Secret of the Seventh Planet with NPC. Good luck. Oh, boo, woo, boo. Woo-hoo. Woo, boo. Well, this got accepted. Uh, yep. Are you sure? Uh, it's, yeah. I'm doing it right now. Um, I am NPC. Uh, will the couch introduce themselves? I'm Mike Liyama, Trista, Dana. And I have behind them Linkums, Jangle Storm, Jeff XPS, and Sharfers. Um, got my Kuso crew here, and um, oh, this is Cybertenic Ranger. And we are doing chat percent, which means any en enemy that I'm going to encounter, I am going to chat with them. Because there's one part in the game you're supposed to chat with somebody. But the programmers decided, hey, let's give all the enemies the ability to chat with you. So let's get to it. So um, I'm going to press F2, but it's between one to five seconds between when the game will actually start. So uh, three, <laughs> two, yeah, I know. Three, two, one, go. We're off to oh, a good start. It automatically wow. starts. And we start on an auto scroller. So, yep, fun game. Um, but what I'm going to explain right now is that the story is basically you are Micah and your father is Andrew Mason. And Andrew Mason um, got, his ship got invaded by a bunch of aliens. So he threw out these 12 pods that have a bunch of um, scientific information that you're supposed to get. And he, threw, and he threw away his son too who got recovered and they outfitted him with cybergenic modules. And so... You're this cybergenic ranger trying to find answers about where your father is. So now we're starting the speed run and we're just going to hold down the right arrow button. Get used to these sounds, by yeah. the way. <laughs> yeah. And there is absolutely no way to speed this up. If you try to shoot the enemies, it will still cause lag and just waste a lot more time. But I'm going to make you uh, point out the bottom left of the screen. That yellow dot is us. Blue is a door and red is a boss. And I'm just going to point that out right now. And this is a game. That's all I can really say. I have loved showing this off, but it's just a pain in the butt, especially when we get into later levels when I'm actually trying to do platforming. Uh, but we are almost at the door, so let's talk to one of these uh, floating bodies. Oh, wait a sec. First, got to talk to this robot. Beware of what follows. <laughs> The rest of the game? Oh, wow. Yeah, and now yeah. a floaty, dead men tell no <laughs> tales. Which, obviously, I don't know how we're talking to dead people, but there you go. So now we're going into this control panel to find out what happened to our father, but he uh, it just basically goes over everything I just said. People took over the ship, he threw out the 12 pods, and we're going to try and re recover where those 12 pods went to. And so... We are now going to transport to get the salt shooter, but we're not actually going to collect it. We're just going to leave. And we've <laughs> collected it. Yay. So now we are dodging ectoplasm or ecto, yeah, ectoplasms, but it really looks like blood platelets. So I'm just going to assume I'm pseudo playing Rex Ronin right now. <laughs> But all I really did was hold right. So it's really nothing that's, you know, very um, hard to dodge any of this stuff. So we're going to um, now be in an ice level. And um, I'm going to look for enemies because really you don't actually do a lot of looking for enemies in here. But there are two enemies in here we're going to try and find. And I got freaking perfect RNG. I really don't want chat percent right now because that was a perfect red dot. Where is all the enemies? Enemies, enemies. <laughs> well, I want this for other levels, not right now. Come on, enemies. It, yeah, so it may not look like it, but NPC is at the bottom of the level right now. Uh, you're just gonna have to trust me on that one. <laughs> and while he's looking for it, those ledges are completely random and they disappear immediately after you get off the, the screen. Yeah, I'm just gonna reload the level and look some more. Oh, frig. <laughs> it just happens like that, and I can't control anything. The ledges are RNG, meaning that I just jumped off it, and it disappeared right under me. So that is the um, evil of this game. 
I'm really wondering where all these enemies are. Oh, why the freak? And I cannot control easily. Okay, just d respawn and despawn. Anybody? Nope. <laughs> Come on. Come on, enemies. We might have to skip this if they're not gonna... Oh, wait a second, here we go. I have friends at the top. Okay. That's a nice enemy. So now we're gonna actually just go fight the friggin' boss because I don't trust anything else in this level. And so I apologize to the Yeti. They've been doing a lot of nice shirts, but I am going to be killing one of your brethren right here. So I'm gonna go over here and he says to me, I only have ice for you. Why? <laughs> so I'm going to shoot him with the salt shooter, which does a lot of damage to him, and then I'm just going to shoot him with my regular gun. And yay, we got another pod. Woo! And that pod gives us a gun, but we're just going to avoid everything. Now, I could actually try and shoot any of the asteroids that are currently flying at us, but the approximate time to actually shoot any of them is the moment you actually see a meteor, meteor spawn right in front of you. Or and right comes from the screen because it is absolutely terrible trying to aim for these asteroids. So we just let RNG just randomly hit us. We do have a life bar, but because we're right here, it's never going to go down to a, a place where we're gonna have to restart the level. And yes, it will restart the beginning of this asteroid level, so it is incredible pain in the butt. But um, I want to also say, donate for this wonderful, wonderful poster. Remember? Woo! This is the box copy of Cybergenic Ranger. They actually have the real copy here, but I have my own wonderful copy right here, a poster. Yeah. And everything else I'll probably go into in a little bit. We, in fact, in. have two copies of this game exactly. in this room right now. I don't know what's wrong. <laughs> so we are now on this level. Oh, we got a whirling dervish. Come on. I hate it when that happens. And now we have, oh. Oh, I have gifts. Okay. Oh, well, okay. Where's my gift? It just flew off. Okay, so we're just gonna go to the red dot where we're gonna be fighting our first, our next boss. However, our health is a little low, so we're gonna be crossing our fingers about this one. Oh, you'll be fine. You say that, but this game is this game is the true RNG. Uh, stop coming towards me. Stop. Okay, just keep going forward then. Don't actually stop. <laughs> Every time an enemy is on screen, it lags it just a little bit more. Oh, this boss. Yeah, this boss. This boss yep. is great. Oh, crap. You got boss. too close. Okay. So I'm going to be safe. What? Oh, crap. Um, hoping that, yeah, hoping that um, you can hit him is very key. Sometimes it will actually shoot two bullets, one up and one down, and sometimes it will not. Um, anytime you want to actually shoot a second bullet, I'd appreciate that game. You can actually try and do the close method. You see, there's two shots right there. It's just, either way, you're just hoping for all the shots to connect. There you go. And what does this one have to say? Oh, yeah, let's see what he has to say. You'll never win. I don't know. We've apparently learned the secret of the third dimension in shooting him while he's in the background. I think we have the upper hand here. <laughs> I don't even think the dev learned about the third dimension. I mean, to be fair, we are playing Cybergenic Ranger, so there is no winning. Yeah, it's true. We're gonna learn, learn about true RNG in just a little bit in the next level. I'm excited. There we go. So now we are in the jungle area. And so we have this big frog that goes I love this lizard, by the way. This is my favorite enemy in the game. Did the the fly, oh, the fly's just hiding behind there. Uh, that's scary, so I'm just gonna despawn him. And that, oh, I said despawn him. I said despawn him, go away. Oh, frick. <laughs> <laughs> no. He's back. <laughs> no, <you're not. laughs> Buzz off. <laughs> so, yeah, this is the, no, no, no. Please, no, please. <laughs> So jumping is really difficult in this game because the controls are even worse than they look. 
Because if I remember correctly, you actually have to jump from a still position and then hold down. Yeah, yeah that's it's, correct. It's kind of like Action 52 in that respect. <laughs> so to be precise on that, this the controls are keyboard and they're based on the text parser. So you cannot have multiple keys pressed down at the same time ever. It's just not going to work. <laughs> wow. The controls also require four hands to operate. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, we never even went over the fact that the special weapons are all in the num lock. Yeah, your main controls are the arrow keys to move, space, and return, and then you use the numpad for your special weapons. Oh, please despawn. So if you can um, figure out how to do that, uh, you win. <laughs> please despawn. I have very little life going into this boss. I'm already worried. Oh, please. The lizard's just trying to chill out. What are you doing? Well, I'm trying to get to the freaking red dot so I can... <laughs> Fine. No! <laughs> Okay, I am really scared because I have zilch for health, and this boss just... Okay, okay. What tangled webs I weave. Okay, this boss is... No, I don't... I'm trying to turn. I'm really trying to turn. Oh, okay. No. So, I am having... Where are you? Okay. So, I have bombs, and I'm really hoping that he spawns nearby so that he decides to... Um, get hit in the explosion. Please come here so that, not that close, but. <laughs> it's like there's a certain amount of um, distance you can have that he will um, just body you and there's nothing you can do about it. To its credit, I really like the background for this boss. And it's probably oh, yeah. about the only thing in this <laughs> game I could actually tolerate looking at for more than five seconds. Yeah, this has the unique distinction of, uh, being... Oh, decent. crap. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. Oh, real cold. No. I can't move. I see if I tried to actually shoot him, I would be dead. Right, because shooting extends your hitbox about twice your width. Your entire arm go. is part of your hitbox. Oh, jeez. That was so scary. See, I said you'd be fine. And now one of the worst levels in the game. And this is the lava. I like how shields is misspelled. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah, that's funny. <laughs> so yeah, um, all the platforms in this game are RNG, and this is a lava level. We're gonna reset our health oh, and just no. die. So platforms are RNG, meaning that I need platforms in order to not get damaged by lava. It's a mark of wonderful game design when you get yes. spawned directly above a lava pit and... Oh crap, and I've already gained that RNG when... There. Where are the platforms? <laughs> yes. They're, oh, crap. <laughs> Need to get on the platform. Get away. Get away. You can also, if you want to feel a... No, please go away. It, you can change the difficulty of this game if you so badly want to. Um, it is impossible on any difficulty other than easiest. I'm just saying that right now. Yeah, NPC set it to the maximum difficulty, handed me the keyboard and said, here, try it. And no... I'm, I'm still mad at him for that. <laughs> so we're going to talk to Witness, and um, he's actually the uh, thing you have to talk to. So we're just going to mash him and not actually listen to what he says. But what he does give you is he gives you an item that will kill anything in one hit, but you only get to use it once. So it's kind of important to uh, grab it. But let me show you what happens if you actually try to attack you. He will... <laughs> I, when I first played this game, I um, uh, attacked him for like 15 minutes from all the way to the left side before knowing that I was supposed to um, do anything or, you know, actually talk to him. So that was a bunch of wasted time. Right, because you got this as a blind race, yeah. right? Yeah, I got this as a blind race from Cusa Grande, so... I, oh, more stuff. I may have been semi-responsible for that. Yeah, thank you, Dana. Yeah, we all know what you did. <laughs> So we have another one of these long auto scrollers. So if we have any donations. Absolutely. $25 from Jeff XVX saying, NP, Kuso Crew loves seeing you suffering. <laughs> 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 Lovely. And $160 from Ray EO saying, These games have been awful, but in a great way. Great job all this week. The incentive goes towards Mega Man 3 CGA because anything more than four bits of color is. Just too many. And we do still have about $1,300 left to go on that Mega Man 3 playing in some of that glorious CGA. 
All righty, next, next level um, is another one where I'm gonna take an intentional death to get my health up, and this is the scariest boss in the game, and actually the reason why I, come on, I'm just gonna reset the health. This is the scariest boss and the reason why I ran this game to begin with, because there was no um, walkthrough on how to beat this game, and this was pretty much a gatekeeper because we did not know how to defeat this upcoming boss. He's also hard because I need to talk to him because this is chapter set, and um, talking to him is incredibly scary. So if, oh, you, no. if you don't touch anything, you fall to your death. So you have to hold right, and you have to lure him by going to the very right of the freaking screen. And with the controls, it is scary because sometimes left doesn't want to put you back onto the ledge. I wish I was joking. I like the Star Trek door noise for fireballs. Yeah. I, I'm gonna say something because I'm concentrating right here. <laughs> Almost close enough to talk to, just a little bit, just, no, oh, oh no! <laughs> so now he has to repeat the entire boss. Yeah. This is, this is, this is basically the reason this is so freaking, no, 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 please, I, I can get, no, no, oh. Well, rest now I'll restart with full health. So yeah, you just have to be careful. I'm gonna be more careful now. Just pray he doesn't want to do anything stupid. Although the fire's being too kind. So hey crowd, how you liking that hurt sound so far? <laughs> <laughs> A crowd after my own heart. I exactly. appreciate you all. <laughs> uh, oh, you will. <laughs> So, uh, any more donations? Oh, no! Ah, yeah. <laughs> Just more time for donations! <laughs> yes! Yeah, it gives us more time to get to the uh, CGA incentive for Mega Man 3. We're still working towards that. $15 from Schmumbler164, saying, I normally wait till Horror Block to donate, but this time let's start the horror early with some CGA. Greetings oh. from the audience. <laughs> Wow, fire, everything is just playing so hard in this level. I have to be very upset at it later. Is this the big gatekeeper to like serious cybergenic competition? This and the next level. <laughs> oh, please, no, please, really, no. So please. a little backstory on how we discovered this. Yes. So the illustrious and current celebrity on the news, Macaw45. Oh, what the? Oh. <laughs> When he's not making fun of 12-year-olds <laughs> by, you know, enjoying the games that they make, he uh, plays very obscure stuff. He played this one day, and I saw this and said immediately to myself, I have to show this to everyone possible. <laughs> and so for the invitational for Cuso Grande, I said, this, this is the thing that everyone must see. And NPC never really gave me for that? Which is why you're on the couch. <laughs> oh, this is actually incredibly hard to do. It took me an hour to do this is the first time I played through the game. This is, this is super high live levels of butt clench, so just throwing that out there. <laughs> Keep it tight. Exactly. I'm just gonna, whenever, whenever he stops shaking is when he's gonna use a fireball. And, okay, I'm just gonna be super careful. Okay. Right. Don't forget to talk to him. Yeah, I don't want to talk to him. <laughs> he wants to talk to no, you. No! Oh, no! Oh, no! He obviously doesn't want to be talked to. The snake's game can, is Can on I just tell point. him what, can I just tell you all what he says so I can not talk to him? <laughs> no. <laughs> because I don't want to put us any more behind schedule. <laughs> Give the crowd their money's worth. Exactly. <laughs> More content. So uh, I'm gonna tell you a little factoid about this team. Um, yeah, so uh, in my long history of GDQ, uh, NPC is the only person who I've seen angry that their game was accepted for a GDQ. <laughs> this is the reason! Look, this game, everything is going wrong here in the worst possible way. 
I suppose now's a good time to point out that among all of the bars at the top of the screen, the one in the bottom middle is called the salt bar, and I don't believe it's calibrated properly because it's currently empty. <laughs> Okay, we're gonna do. This is serious. We're gonna do it this time. We are going to do it this time. <laughs> you oh, got this. Oh. Okay, the room is way too quiet now, and that's scary. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Angel, angel fire, fire gifts. Oh no, I didn't mean to jump. Oh no. Okay. Oh, 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 okay. Okay. Everything's fine. Okay, just come on. This really is so freaking hard. One more time, I think I can talk to him. Yes! <laughs> yes! yes! So what you have to do is that you have to make this boss fall off. Yeah. I love you! Uh, oh, okay. Now that one is actually a safe one. <laughs> So now we are on the final level. All right, and we're going on to the final planet. And we have a minute, 30 seconds of this. So let's go with <laughs> donations. All right. <laughs> Woo -hoo! We have $50 from Gonzo Damas 36 saying these games in Awful Block look way too nice. This donation goes toward getting us some sweet, sweet CGA. And we are a little less than $800 away from the glorious CGA of Mega Man 3, so make sure you don't wait. Let's get those donations in now and see some CGA. Also, $25 from Bird School saying chaos, chaos, chaos. This marks our, the most our community has ever donated to GDQ in a single event. Good luck to all of the Kuso runners, and shout out to the crowd and tech crew on this late night shift. Let's enjoy something terrible together. Yeah, I really <laughs> don't know what it is about games like this, where if I, if some just seems impossible, I want to speed run it. Um, Dana uh, gave me, um, gave us a race for um, a game called a Captain America, uh, Dr. Megalomania, and the uh, Doom Tube. And, yeah. Doom Tube. Doom, 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 Doom Tube. And so, it's just like, we played it for like an hour, and there's like, yeah, nobody's ever going to beat this game. And so I spent the next, like, three hours trying to beat the game. I have no idea why NPC considers me a friend, because I punish him. <laughs> I gave him Dooley Bravo World, and he ran it. <laughs> I don't make the wisest of decisions. No, you don't. Okay. Not even a little. We love you anyway. Yeah. So we are now going to, we see two doors, one on the left, one in the right. And the right actually requires going up random platforms. So let's go to the... Our, the one on the left requires good platforms, the one on the right does not. So we're just gonna keep going right and actually complete the friggin' game. Woo! We are gonna see some enemies, hypothetically. Hypothetically. There is one enemy in here. If he wants, this is way too good of luck right now and that fears me. Oh, there he is. Silence, soft skin. Well, no, no, no. <laughs> I don't want to hug. We've had enough issues today. Okay. So, we're going to almost be there. But yeah, usually they'll, like, just camp out the bottom and just spawn, like, immediately and just body you. So if you guys love that hit noise, get ready for some wonderful, wonderful hit noise about to come up. <laughs> Because I have to go to this left door. Okay. No. Oh, crap. I got to hand it to you. Oh. <laughs> it, it is a joke. Can confirm. So I need to make sure that I am not stuck between two, because if I do, I soft lock the game if I run out of health. <laughs> I learned this two days ago. <laughs> in the practice room. I was there for that. C keep moving forward. I refuse to have you guys beat it. So are they like farting just to... <laughs> and what you... No, that wasn't the answer. Sometimes you can make them spawn on the right so that it takes a little bit of time for them to kind of respawn. 
So, I, yeah, there we go. So I could frig? Not so soon. I was trying to impress people by the fact that they were going over to the left. We're almost to that door. I can almost taste the door. Come on. <laughs> how, how does the door? Oh, wait, what does it taste like? Metal? <laughs> Freedom. Freedom! Freedom is the answer because that means the game's almost there. Go, no, 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 no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, the no. door is almost there. Come on. Get that was very close. The idea is if you get uh, killed okay, by an enemy. Woo! Okay. Oh, boss. Time. Let's talk to boss. Oh. Y'all come back now, you hear? <laughs> <laughs> So we're now going to shoot rockets at him. Oh, disco time. Oh, oh no, just disco time. Oh crap, 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 crap. Oh. oh. There we go. Yay, 12 pod collected. We beat the, wait a sec, nope. we didn't beat nope. the game. Because the right door is a red herring. <laughs> Chat percent actually makes us go to the right door so we could talk to that guy. But the right door is a red herring. We actually have to go up to the top left door. That is why when I submitted the game, I called this one time percent. Because when I play this game, in order to get up to that door, you have to use the boosters, which drain your health. Um, and it is impossible to do without using the cheat code, which refills your health. The first time I ever did a run of this game is the only time I have ever played this game and successfully never had to use the cheat code. It'll never happen again in my entire lifetime. But that is why 1% exists. So we're gonna try and line us up to that blue dot and hope the door behaves today. Are so as a reminder, all these ledges are completely random and they all disappear, so if he falls at any time, it's just gonna keep going all the way back down. So trying to climb this without the booster is essentially impossible. Yeah, you could be here anywhere from five minutes to the other side of next Tuesday. And I'm not kidding about that. That's a pretty literal range for how long it could take. Yeah. There's the door over there. No, get a shoot, I gotta jump over him. You... Oh wait, the platform's gone away. Wait a sec, okay. Hitboxes, how do um, they work? And, oh crap, no, no, <laughs> no. Um, Are we about to see the first run of two time percent? <laughs> <laughs> okay, we have two more enemies to talk to before the final boss. The actual final boss. Okay, here's the first one. Be my Valentine. Aww. We shall meet again. Do, do. Okay, you want me to kill it? Okay. I gave it a hug. So we're gonna go into this door, and we're gonna meet the final enemy of this game. I'm sure we're all at the edge of our seats. So we're gonna talk to him, he says, are those the only weapons you've got? And he is dead. <laughs> so Witness gave us that insta-kill enemy. Oh, time. That's time. Woo! Yeah, that was about a 2710. Yeah, that is, I mean, it would have been fine if the stupid fire level wasn't the way it was, but you know, <laughs> and the snake behaving the way it did. Well, we were all entertained. That's all that exactly. matters. Yeah, you can see right here, it says that it was under the direction of Mother Brain. So if you are a Metroid runner, you have to run this game too. Just, just contact me and I'll give you the information. And if you need any help installing them, I have the five by five and one fourth disc. It's very helpful. I tried to give it to the staff here, but they said they had trouble with it. Don't so. forget the copy protection comic. Exactly. Oh, yeah, I have to do that. And I, I guess if, if I got to upgrade, I can get the three and a half disc offer right here. I better fill it out. But um, that was Cybergenic Ranger behaving like Cybergenic Ranger does. So. Thank you all for having me, and uh, get ready for Mega Man 3. Well, thank you, NPC, for that awesome run of Cybergenic Ranger and that nice little tour of the gift shop there at the end.
If you get your donations in to win that copy of Cybergenic Ranger, you, all that can be yours. And we do still need to get some donations in because Mega Man 3 DOS is next. We're a little bit more than $500 away from the glorious CGA. If you are going to enjoy Mega Man 3, you may as well, and well, excuse me, Mega Man 3 DOS, that's something completely different. You want to enjoy it in the glorious CGA. We have a $50 donation from K Fizzle saying Mega Man 3 was my first Mega Man game, although I think it may have had a few more colors. Yeah, see, you're thinking of the other one. $50 from Rob Draven saying the robots are revolting. Not revolting enough. More CGA. And we are going to take a moment for a Twitch ad. We'll be back briefly. Well, and since you're not seeing the ad anyway, Twitch chat, now would be a good time to get those donations in for CGA. I'm just saying. All right, see, this is what I'm talking about. We got $250 from Foo Foo 14 saying Mega Man CGA is the only Mega Man. That got us more than half of what we needed. We're still 200 and about $30 shy. Let's get those donations in now. We need the CGA. Oh, excuse me, we just got there. Thank goodness, I don't know if we pay by the color, but now we've got a few less of them, so that's good. Thank you for your donations. We will be playing a Mega Man 3 with Liz Star. The robots are revolting in CGA in just a moment. We have $15 from Cool Graphics Adapter that said Mega Man CGA needs to happen. $15 from Thing Liker who says, set my eyes directly on fire, please. $100 from Phantom SVT, three simple letters, C-G-A. $75 from Tagari saying, Mega Man DOS are my favorite games of all time. They must be glown, shown in glorious C-G-A. As the couch gets a C-G-A chant going. $100 from what is CGA, saying I don't know what CGA is, but I want to see it. <laughs> you, you will know soon enough, and then you will wish you didn't know. <laughs> $50 from Recycled, saying let's get CGA, and got it, we did. Thank you very much for the generosity at Recycled. Well, David TKI donates $25, saying, my dad subjected me to Mega Man DOS when I was a kid, and now I'm subjecting my kid to it. Shoutouts to the front row. Well, Demon Fire contributed $10 to the Prevent Cancer Foundation and had a question still about Cybergenic Ranger. 
wait, chatting with enemy monsters? Is this a Shin Megami Tensai game in disguise? With that.